Hi there guys and gals, I'm Silent Senior 9 and this is Let's Play Super Metroid. Uh, last time we left off, we explored the rest of Norfair that I really had any interest in doing, using our grapple beam, our power bombs, you name it, we got it. Mostly. There's actually one more power up we can pick up that will show up visibly on our top screen that you see there with, you know, you know with all the missiles, super missile power bomb, all that good stuff. Uh, real quick on the map, I just wanted to point something out because some people might be playing this playing along and they might just be doing the bare minimum that they need to do and there may be some actions that they chose not to do. If you have the grapple beam, you now have an easier access to the wave beam. Um, if we go over here, you'll notice that, yes, we have the wave beam. This allows us to shoot through walls, okay? You need this ability uh, before progressing to the next area. As far as I know you do, you might actually not need it. Do will you please go back? Um, the wave beam is actually, um, you see where the long upper right hallway was? That's where we got the speed boost. Underneath that, so basically on the way toward, because you know how we had to go, um, essentially we had to go into a main min, main middle room. I'll actually have future self kind of draw something, just to draw a little arrow to show you where, we, where all we went. We went from the middle room there, next to the where the save station and all that stuff is, down, and then we went to the right. We went all the way to the right, then came back up, and then went back to the left, and then we came to a large vertical hallway. We went up, and we found a couple of doors leading to that main giant rectangular room with, with the one dot that's that was actually where a missile pack was, and it was with a bunch of cargo nests and those things that look like the creatures from Alien. Yeah, that area is where you need to go to if you want to get the wave beam, and hopefully the drawing is helpful, sort of. I know it's not... Verbally by itself, it just sounds awful. So it's yeah. probably easier if I just show when to show you. But honest, but truth be told, I think we've spent enough time in Norfair, and for that matter, talking about Norfair. So just remember, go get the wave beam if you haven't done so already. And if you have, let's do this. We're ready to go back to Brinstar because we got some missile packs, energy tanks, reserve tanks. We got all kinds of crap we gotta pick up, and I recommend picking up as many of those as you possibly can because, woo, buddy. It gets nasty. It gets really nasty. Oh, by the way, I never did actually take time to correct myself on this. And we're like, what, two videos later? <laughs> no, actually, correction, we're four videos later now that I think about it. Um, big thank you to Van Grafer. He actually helped correct me on a detail that I done goofed on. He uh, made a note to say that the Varia suit that we picked up after defeating Kraid, it actually does a little more than just... Um, giving us heat resistant abilities. It also increases our defense up uh, So big thanks to him for helping me remember that detail because I done forgot it because I'm just that way I'm terrible when it comes to certain details and in general I think I may have mentioned this in the past, but in case I didn't I'm just very bad with Metroid games So my knowledge of it and understanding of it is very much not up to snuff compared to other people like, seriously, anybody and everybody, like, a person first playing this game could probably outclass me in every shape and form and way that, that any other, well, than me, basically. I, I guess I'm just trying to berate myself and belittle myself here, because I'm just, I don't really see myself as that good of a Super Metroid or a Metroid player, but at the same time, you know, what does that exactly mean when you say you're good at this game? Dude, well... For one, I'm sure it means you don't do what I just did there. Um, thankfully, once we've reached the top, you know, like Harry. Harry! I've reached the top! Or actually, it's Marv that does that, but he, yeah, that's what he says. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Oh. Now you get to see what was in there, because every time we kept power bombing, he just he would just be destroyed. Um, yeah, that little beat bomb. I think that's what those are called, beat bombs. Yeah, the beat almost underneath there. Jeez, I gotta breathe a lot here. Now that we have the grapple beam, this is very, very, very much an optional power-up. It's kind of like picking up the Lens of Truth in, Le in a Legend of Zelda game, except I feel like in those games... Uh, well, in the Legend of Zelda game. I'm, I'm saying that as if it's been in multiple games. It's actually only been in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But this power-up, I feel like you could live without, really. I don't recommend it. Especially if you're really new to the series, and I'm not new to the series, but I think I would go insane if I didn't have a way to 
see the unseeable. There's gonna be... Yeah, I guess I just kind of spoiled what it does, but... Um, I'm sure you could probably guess what it does based on the fact it's called X-Ray Scope. Um, also... Uh, uh, ah! Hey, let go of me, Pinsir! You nasty! You nasty! Getting all pervy with me with your claws. Jeez, man, what is this, like, Toy Story? The claw! Ugh. I hate the fact that- Oh, no, 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 no! Leave me alone, you pervy little pincer! I don't care what you say, I'm getting the hell out of here! Swing, 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 like a monkey on a vine, yeah- No! Get- I got the donkey! And anything else you could think of, I'm gonna say it. <sighs> Get me the hell out of here! Oh, thank gosh. Alright, missile this door down and... In here we can get the item, I almost spoiled what it does. But, that's okay. Because this is an optional item to begin with, and... Really, the name is gonna give away what it does, even if the game never does tell you. The X-Ray Sco! With this lovely item, we can make like the lens of truth. And we can now, if we push, I think it's, yeah, it's B, just like every, well, not like everything else. We get to see the unseeable, so we see a way to get out of this room, and also lets us see pathways that we would normally not be able to travel. Um, I will put an asterisk here just to say this now. This is not exactly the end-all, be-all kind of power-up. It actually, there are some things, and I think this is stupid that this is the case. I've learned that there are some hidden areas and passageways in this game that are actually not visible even with the X-ray scope, which I think is kind of crappy of the developers to have done. But at the same time, this is an old game. What are you going to do? I mean, seriously, they, they made some crazy, crazy decisions with how they decided to keep things hidden. I mean, and they also, if I understand it right, if we're like, if you were to look at an interesting fact sheet, like stuff that was, if you were to like try to figure out some interesting trivia you can ask about this game, putting together the map for this game was just, it was more than just a chore. It was just outright insane. Like they, I think they ended up like delaying the release of this game partly because, because if I remember right, or if I understand this right, um, Super Metroid was actually supposed to release a lot sooner. Um, and then it wound up being released as one of the later games for the Super Nintendo. The layout of the map was actually continuously debated on and changed uh, as to how people, the team, the people on the team wanted to see, you know, this game, how it all, like, linked together. And if you picture it, like, it's not exactly like, oh, it's a neat little rectangle 9x5 or whatever. No, it's like... If we even just look at Brinstar, for example, I mean, look at this crap. There's all kinds of random... All over the place! There's just random places. Um, there's tooth-like shapes. There's jagged staircase shapes. There's long hallway shape. There's uh, L shape or J shape. I mean, it's just... It's insane. So, and just imagine being on that team and thinking, like, how the hell did, would we even... If we... If, the, if this was... Words, boy, use them. If this was a project I was given to work on, with a bunch of team members. How the hell would you even come close to deciding how's this all gonna piece together? Like, I mean, I'm good with puzzles for the most part. I'm not like an expert, but if you really want to be convinced, just look at my Pokemon Puzzle League Let's Play. Um, specifically, look at more than just the two-player stadium, which is like the most popular video in that series for some reason. I don't understand why, but people like seeing that, I guess. I think it's because y'all are sadistic. Some of you are like masochist or... No, actually, masochist would be if you want to see yourself in pain. Sadistic if you want to see others pain. I think some of you are a bit of sadist and you like seeing me complain and get my butt kicked because I think I got my butt kicked a couple times in that one. Um, but anyway, if you look at my puzzle, Pokemon Puzzle Let's Play, you just look at that, look, you can just look at Puzzle University, one of those videos, specifically one of the special stage ones, the special class ones, and you'll notice, yeah, Puzzle Seniors got some skill when it comes to puzzle games. I'm not the greatest at it by any means. There are people that I'm sure that could school me easily, but I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of compliments from people like, dude, you, you kind of scare me with how your abilities. I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad somebody thinks, you know, I'm pretty good at something, you know? Or is every other kind of game? <laughs> Let me get back to you on that. Yeah, yeah. Not so great at them. But yeah. 
even with my puzzle solving abilities, this started with the whole map thing, putting this thing together. How the heck would... I'm just trying to... I guess it's because I'm not looking at the, the floor plan, like the pictures. I'm not able to doodle and draw, because I'm a visual person. And I have to be able to just draw and scribble down ideas. Also, there's... Oh my gosh, yeah, these guys are nasty. They, they are into the A-S-T-Y. Nasty! They're horrible. Horrible, man! Horrible! Seriously. Ugh. Wait a minute. I came in here through Brinstar, didn't I? Oh! Oh my gosh, this is really nifty. Okay, so let me go ahead and continue forward here. This area is actually... Oh, this is a power bomb, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can visually see that. I mean, you have eyes, and even if you don't have eyes and you're listening, um, if you're, like, somehow, or really, you're able to just visualize by hearing people describe certain portions in the game, where they're at, or you're listening to the music, you're able to tell me, like, oh yeah, I know where they're at. This is the area we picked up the Morph Ball in. Um... I would continue on this way because there's a lot of crap we gotta do there. I actually want to return back to the main portion of Brenstar. Specifically, I want to get to the green growth kind of portion. Because there is, uh, well, more than just this, of course. Actually, you know what? I want to get to the charge beam room. Yeah, this is that room where we picked up the charge beam. It's also the room we went to to fight off against Spore Spawn. Um, I want to get here because... Uh, real quick, I, I will take note to show you guys something. Down here, you might remember we tried to bomb this and there was a power bomb here. That leads to a room I believe we can't get to yet. Or well, rather, we can get to it, but we can't do anything in it yet because we lack a certain upgrade. But there is a there are a couple of things we can do in this room, and I think that's probably going to have to do it after we've done these couple things. Um, right now, let's go ahead and power bomb this door down. Because we now have... We now have access to that ability. I prob we probably could have taken care of this sooner. I need to kill this thing now before it kills me. Not to say we want to make, like, Flowey from sun from us. Uh, I almost said Sun Flora. Sun Flora Flora! Oh my gosh, that Pokemon is so cute and adorable. It's just... It should be a crime. Alright, um, yeah. In this room, if you didn't have the grapple beam, this would be really difficult. But, since we have it... We can go ahead and grapple beam our way up. I think we have to swing up there, or maybe we just have to jump really fancily. There we go. Okay, yeah, just swing. And then right down over here, I think this is just going to lead to a super missile? No, an... Ooh, an E-Tank, an energy tank. Okay, well, I can't complain there. That That's actually really good. <laughs> I am impressed. Color me impressed. Oh, yeah, baby. And I think that's pretty much all we want to do in here. Um, to leave this place, it's really kind of funny, just bomb here. And I think if you bomb it again, yeah, we got this vertical metal platform that just lets us climb all the way up. Alternatively, I think maybe if you use the X-ray scope, it will tell you that yes, you can do this. Also, if you didn't have the wave beam, you wouldn't be able to get in this room. Oh my gosh, we spent a lot of time. Oh crap! No, 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 no! You need to die. You need to. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I panicked here because I thought I was back to the original amount of energy I had, and I was like, oh gosh, I'm letting that guy kill me! What am I, a moron? Don't you dare answer that. I swear to God. If any of you answered that, I'm gonna come after you. I I'm gonna come after you, and I'm gonna say, that's not nice! I'm not a moron, you bully! Bully, I'm gonna tell. Alright, the reason I got, let me see, yeah, the reason I got distracted is because I was looking at the time, I was like, um, Derp, we've been at this a while? Uh, what do you say we go ahead and, uh, let's climb up here, and I'm just gonna crouch right here and say, thank y'all so much for watching, love bunches. Please don't let us flap, and the next time we meet, we're gonna continue through Bren's Star, and we're gonna pick up a bunch of power-ups. I think we're gonna end up doing some really weird, but cool stuff. We're going to meet some creatures that are actually friendly for a change. And then, hopefully, big major hopefully, but I'm not counting on it. We'll make our way to Criteria, do some more stuff there. And then finally after that, we'll finally get a video where we're actually going to progress the story and go to a new area where we actually have to do something. You know, as far as like progressing uh, further into this game to beat it. You know, instead of just 100% completing it. But enough of me rambling. Take care and peace out, y'all. Check it.